and welcome or welcome back to Sarah Stitch. I am Sarah. I am a 28 year old knitter and I live in Hoboken, New Jersey, which is right across the river from Manhattan. During the weekdays, working hours, I'm an accountant. However, I tend to knit pretty much all other hours of the day that I'm awake. So today is going to be a slightly different episode than normal because it is October 1st, Sunday in the afternoon. And on Thursday, I'm sure everyone knows, if you're clicking on this video, you've already seen in the thumb thumbnail that um, Cal starts in four days on Thursday. So if you're new here, I just got back from a trip and I got back, my kit was here, so I figured I'd do like a little unboxing, maybe <laughs> crowdsource some opinions because I got an extra color and I can't decide if I want to use it or not. And yeah, so let's get started. So this is going to be my third MCAL. Um, I've my first one was Shawlography, and then last year I did Twists and Turns, and then I will be doing this one this year. Um, my last two ones, I have put together my own color combos, but this year I got a kit from Stephen and Penelope. I got my first choice kit. I think I was between two different kits, so I'm happy with the kit I got, but depending on the shawl, I may be making this in the other kit color that I wanted. Uh, so let's get started with what I got. So like everyone else in the world, it came in the lovely MCAL box. Um, and I got very excited about this. The purple and tan, I haven't even opened this up yet, so it's all fresh. But I got the purple and like neutral bag, which was the colors I wanted because neutral girly for the most part. I'm not an orange and neon color girl. I can't remember what the other one was, but so it came with the bag which is a lot bigger than the bag last year, which is nice. So all of the yarn will fit in there. And then a uh, needle gauge and um, gauge gauge ruler, stickers, all of the stickers and then labels. So that is what came with the kit. And the colors I got, or the kit I got, I should say is, the chestnut kit, which was West Wool. So it is these four colors. Hopefully I'm holding that up okay. Um, so starting with the lightest, we have sand, then biscuit, then mocha is this taupey color, and then chestnut, which is the um, namesake of the collection. So this is how it came. It is West Wool Bicycle, which is, I think it's 100% wool. Yeah, 100% South Amer American Merino wool. And it is 175 meters for 50 grams. So I have two of each of the colors. And yeah, I'm very excited to use it. It is like the plumpest, squishiest, like, gorgeous yarn in the world. I hope it's focusing. I can't see that far away. I'm going to assume we focused at some point, but it's like super, oh, I can't wait to make a shawl out of this. And knowing the last couple of years, there's, I feel confident saying there will be at least one garter section. And I feel like this will be the perfect, perfect yarn for garter and also brioche. I'm hoping there's brioche this year because I'm, I love brioche. I know some people don't, but I just, I I found it very meditative. And when I learned, when I started like teaching myself how to knit more than just knits and pearls, I learned brioche because I wanted to make a shawl that had brioche in it. And I didn't know that it was like a, a thing. So I taught myself brioche and now I love brioche. So um, these are the four colors that came in the kit. Like I had said, the other kit I was between that I was also it was another Westwell one and it was the pickle kit. It was like lime green to like a super dark hunter green and it is gorgeous. So that may be coming <laughs> in the near future on the podcast if I like the shawl this year. I'm 
cautiously optimistic. I loved, I love my shawlography. Um, twist and turns, not, not as much. Um, and I don't know if it's because it's not as, I used Magpie for both of them. One, the shawlography was Swanky Sock and Twist and Turns was on the singles base, but for some reason, I just don't love, maybe it's my color choices. I probably should go get them. Um, I'll go get them, but please hold, it's going to get them. So, small mystery, um, can't find my shawlography anywhere, so that's moderately concerning, but go back to last year. When I was doing Twist and Turns, I definitely showed shawlography last year. Uh, I have no idea where it could be. Huh. But anyway, um, this is my Twists and Turns. I think it's partially the shape, which I think I modified last year. I can't remember. But it's just very like, if you wear it, it's very like flouncy. Like, I don't know, but hold on. I will show and then I will put it on before I start dying. So this is what she looks like. And I don't know if I remember all these colors. It definitely isn't last year's videos, but I'm pretty sure this teal is either Magpie or Siren. The speckle, I want to say, is London Rain, maybe. I'm not positive, but so this is it, and I don't know why, I just... I'm a, I'm a wrap them a million times around you kind of girl when it comes to shawls and I just don't love how this sits. Let me check in here. Is my shawl in here? No. Um, like it just, I haven't found a good way to wear this so it does not get as much love as shawlography usually does when aware of its location. I'm assuming I just placed it somewhere very safe when I moved, but I feel like if I'm wearing this, I can't wear speckled or anything multicolored on my top because this is so variegated that I don't want to clash with what I'm wearing. So I think that's also part of it, which is why we have the four this year. The four neutral or four neutrals and fully solid tonal colors. So as you can see, I caked these up already. Pretty sure I took a video of it. So you may have already seen that. But here are the four caked up. Uh and so my fifth color option, which I got when I ordered my kit, is truffle, which is this really, really pretty truffle brown color. And my dilemma is, so here's everything together, all five. I first, I think I wanted to get a mohair to match one of them or a surrey or something because Steven usually will do the mohair dare or just like encourage floof in the, in the shawl. And I love a good floof. So I'm first debating Actually, I might have a mohair that matches this, but debating first which four colors to use out of the five I have. If I want to stick with the original kit colors, which would be that, or add in truffle, which would be these four, or I think maybe this. I feel like I don't love that as much. So let me know your thoughts on that. That's, that's my crowdsourcing question of the week is what four of the five should I use or should I just do it with five and see what happens? Because I could. Uh, Steven usually, I think in the pattern this year too, says that you can, or there will be an option to make a larger shawl if you so choose. So I could in theory do all five colors, but it's only 400 grams of yarn this year. So I feel like I should maybe think about 
just doing the 400 grams because I might be doing it twice and or might finish it more quickly than I have in the past just because it is only the 400 grams other than 500 grams. So that is my kit colors, all that, that good stuff. And the plan is going to be similar to last year, which is when I started my channel with MCAL last year. Uh, so I'm coming up on one year anniversary-ish of the podcast and the channel, I guess. But um, I am going to do weekly videos as of now. Uh, I was able to do it last year, so I don't see why I wouldn't be able to do it this year. Uh, just updating you on the clue for the week, how far I've made it through the clue, if I finished, and anything else I worked on. So like essentially a mini little podcast every week, but with pretty much the only object worked on is the MCAL. I do find it, or last year I found it, like last two years, I found it very helpful to have like a sock or a hat as a side Excuse me as a side project just so if I get bored of the MCAL I can switch to that quickly and just work on something there or also just I, I feel like the first two weeks I'm usually pretty on top of it and I'm finishing earlier than the full week that's needed for the clue or given for the clue so it just gives me something to work on that isn't gonna take up too much brain space or like overcommit me to something. So you should be seeing weekly videos. I need to decide when I'm gonna post them. I think I'll try and do on Thursdays just so I can talk about the prior week's clue while brain, 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 brain talk about the prior week's clue, show it without giving any spoilers because spoilers are only up until the following week. And then you can start showing like pictures on Instagram as like your first picture in a carousel, things like that. So I probably will upload Thursdays with the previous week's progress. And then this Thursday, I am hopefully going to have a, pod, a full podcast filmed to catch you up on everything that I've done in the last month. And it, I don't know if it's a ton, but I have finished two bigger items. Uh, so that will be up on Thursday if you'd like to watch that. But I have a couple projects I want to get done. One of them, I don't know if you can see it is right there. Uh, it might not be in frame. Uh, but I don't know if they will get done in time, but they will be my ride back sweaters if I wind up going. I'm definitely gonna go to Wollen Folk. I have not decided if I'm gonna drive up for Rhinebeck or not. Oh, oh goodness, caffeine break. It's 5 p.m. and I'm yawning and should not be drinking Red Bull, but I'm drinking Red Bull anyway because I'm still jet lagged. I'm using that as my excuse, but I got back two days ago, so I should be relatively over the jet lag, but I'm not, it seems. So, where was I? Oh, I went to finish my Rhinebeck sweaters. I have um, my tessellated, which I believe I'm on the back on. I haven't looked at that in like a month. And my Sela, which I really want to wear to Woolen Folk, or at least have at Woolen Folk, um, because Allie is going to be there. I'm making it out of boucle, her boucle and her non-superwash DK, so I need to get cracking on those. But that is it for me for now. I will talk to you all on Thursday with my podcast, and Hope everyone's getting very excited, has all their colors picked out. If not, I hope you figure it out. If you're participating, let me know what colors you guys are all using, and yeah. Bye.